Kentucky. A predator in a white coat. That's how the U.S. attorney described the former Manhattan gynecologist convicted today of federal sex crimes against his patients. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas spoke to survivors at the courthouse in Lower Manhattan. The trial is over. But the pain remains for Robert Haddon's former patients who say he sexually abused them during what were supposed to be gynecological exams. It's been very triggering over the years to see um, my name next to his, basically in every article. <laughs> but it was worth it <laughs> for today's outcome. Haddon worked at Columbia University Irving Medical Center and New York Presbyterian Hospital. In 2016, he surrendered his medical license but avoided prison time on sexual assault charges at the state level as part of a plea deal. Today's verdict was for federal charges that he lured patients over state lines and abused them. The jury found Haddon guilty on all four counts against him. We were all of the, like, an agreement based on, like, the patterns of his kind of what he did to all of his victims. Last fall, New York Presbyterian and Columbia University Irving Medical Center agreed to pay more than $165 million to 147 former patients who accused Haddon of assault. Lori Kanyak, a victim who testified in the federal trial, says she wants hospitals to increase their safeguards and require chaperones during medical exams. And I think it's very important moving forward that we recognize that and start the process of everyone's safety. Each of the four counts Haddon was convicted of here carries a maximum sentence of 20 years. His sentencing is scheduled for late April. In Lower Manhattan, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News.